Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath and it's Tips and Tricks Thursday. Today's episode is all about barracudas. Before we get into it though, do us a favor, hit the subscribe button, give this video a like, leave us a message. We'd love to hear from you. All right, everybody, you know what time it is. Let's do this. All right, first off, there are over 26 species of barracuda that swim around in coastal sort of tropical waters. The two most common that swim around Florida's waters are the Great Barracuda and the Southern Senate. The Great Barracuda is recognized by having tiger stripes down its whole back and big black dots in different patterns that sort of are like fingerprints on a fish. Southern Senate usually just have tiger stripes and don't get much more than like 20 inches. They're very tiny, but they are in the Barracuda family. If you start catching Southern Senates, that means the fishing's probably going down. I wanna dispel a myth that you can't eat barracudas. Yes, you can, but you've gotta be careful on how big they get when you eat them. You don't wanna eat a barracuda that is bigger than let's say 10 pounds. They do get ciguatera poisoning. What's ciguatera poisoning? Ciguatera poisoning is a bacteria that is caused from algae that reef fish eat. The theory is, is that the longer the barracuda, which is a reef fish, stays on the reef, the more reef fish they eat, like damsels and tangs and everything that swim around on the reef, and they eventually develop the bacteria that causes ciguatera from eating all these fish that are eating the algae from the coral. So the bigger barracudas, which have been around longer, are most likely infected with ciguatera and you can get sick from it. Just on a side note, common symptoms of ciguatera poisoning are it's hot when it's cold, it's cold when it's hot. It can strip you of all of the hair on your body entirely. Eyelashes, hair, everything, bald. As I said, you can eat barracudas, they are delicious. I've been eating them my whole life. Just make sure they're in the you know five to 10 pound range. The FWC has put restrictions on them as of 2017, I believe, maybe 2016. You can't keep them bigger than 36 inches. Barracuda have teeth, so if you're fishing for them, you're gonna need some wire leader. Barracuda usually go after live struggling food they don't like swimming 40 miles an hour all the time. They'll eat pilchards, they'll eat goggle eyes, they'll eat ballyhoo. They will also chase down a trolled spoon. As I said, be sure you've got wire leader. Another favorite food of the barracuda is that tasty yellowtail you're reeling up on the reef. They will go after it and they will eat and eat and eat until they're full or you hook them. Then they might go away, but until then, they're gonna keep giving you half of your yellowtail. Barracuda do eat other barracuda. Another myth I wanna dispel about barracudas is the fact that they're big, they're scary, they got huge fang-like teeth, but no, they're more camera friendly than most fish in the ocean. Attacks on humans from barracudas are super rare. If you get attacked by a barracuda, you should probably go play the lotto that night. Barracudas are big and scary, but they're also very shy. Some of the coolest things that divers have ever experienced with barracudas is when thousands of juveniles are circling them and getting closer and closer and closer. Yes, it can be nerve wracking, but experienced divers do realize that these are really timid fish and they're not gonna attack you. They're really probably just checking out this big thing in the ocean that they don't understand. Barracuda's eyesight is poor. They're attracted to flashy, shiny stuff which is why they go after your bait fish. So you gotta remember if you're snorkeling around and you're wearing a watch or some shiny earrings or a necklace or something, they might be attracted to it. So just be warned, be careful. Other than making great table fare, barracudas also have a couple of great uses. They make great shark bait. You can strip them out and troll with them, can use them for deep dropping bait. They catch loads of tile fish if you are a fan of tile fish and deep dropping. Another interesting fact about barracudas is that they don't have eyelids. So if you're ever snorkeling or diving around and you notice a barracuda moving really slowly, chances are he's asleep. However, 
even in their deepest sleep, barracudas are still alert to their surroundings. Barracuda max out at around five to six feet long. Some of the largest ones recorded have been up to 110 pounds. They live to be about 14 years old. Now they age a barracuda by looking at its scales and it develops little rings around it every year that it's alive. So the larger barracuda will have 14 little rings on each scale. Very little is known about the reproduction of barracudas. What they do know is that a female barracuda will release her eggs into the open water during the springtime and then they're fertilized externally. Female releases about 5,000 to 30,000 eggs at one time. They float in the open water where they are fertilized and then they slowly settle into shallow regions in algae and seagrass and everything where they become little baby barracudas. Most will perish, only the strong will survive. All right, enough about barracudas. We're gonna get into this section. I'm gonna show you how to fillet a barracuda and prepare it for dinner. And we're going barracuda versus cuda brand knife right here. All right, so the fillet of barracuda long fish we're actually going to play with cuda knife <laughs> interestingly enough you want to stay away from the teeth so the first thing it's just like any other fish right by right behind the pectoral fin and all the way up all the way up the uh, spine now there is a uh, myth that barracudas have sigmatera and it is true in some of the larger ones they do be careful now this particular barracuda is about two and a half three pounds he's perfect to eat barracudas under 10 pounds are perfectly fine i would have no problem eating any of them the bigger they get the longer they've lived on the reef the more fish that eat coral they've eaten so you might want to stay away from the bigger barracuda fish he's just bigger and longer there's one particular thing about a barracuda that I know is that they have pin bones that run pretty much the length the whole length of the fillet so you have to kind of really go deep with that we're skinning it go. Nice skin fillet. I'm going to do the other side. Then I'm going to debone it. cage goes pretty much half the length of the play. Well, once you've got the rib cage back, I would go back very far into the play to make sure you get back all, all the little pin bones that stick out of the spine. As you can see, I've gone back quite a distance. There you go. Your barracuda is deboned. That's what you end up with. Alright, now we'll do the second play. Again, 
his rib cage goes back to about there. Go past where his belly is to get the pin bones out. That about does it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a little something. Until next time, hope to see you next Tuesday for our Sunday showdown. South Florida saltwater fishing. Over and out.